Hey, hi, I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just going for a dip. No, no, I'm, I'm swimming. Oh, yeah, and going over today's science file. What animals that live in the water have webbed feet or fins? Try this! Woo! You will need a stopwatch, fins, and a pool. Okay, once you get in the deep end, you're going to swim all the way down to that end. That end! To, to that end. Wait, down there. How, friend, time how long it takes you to get down there. If you're afraid of the deep end, or you can't swim, time your friend instead. Get ready, get set, let's go! Woo! That was tiring. Okay, as tiring as that was, we have to go all the way back down to that end. That end! All the way back down there. But this time we get to use flipper! Okay, now you're gonna swim that way, all the way to that end, and time yourself again. Whoa! 19 seconds this time! It took me 25 seconds without the fins! Now, what's going on here? Well, take a look at this. When you swim with the flipper, you move through the water faster because the flipper pushes on more water than your bare foot. Animals that live in or near water evolve fins or webbing, just like your flipper. If the fins or webbing allow the animal to move faster through the water, they can catch fast-moving food or escape fast enough so they don't become food for another animal. So now you know why animals that live in the water have webbed feet or fins. So go get yourself a pair of flippers and do this experiment for yourself. But whatever you do, once you get in the pool, never pee in the pool when I'm in there. And that is why science is so cool. Special thanks goes out to everyone at the John Rhodes Center who allowed us to film this so cool science file in their pool. For swim lessons or you just want to make a splash, call 705-759-5419.